Welcome to Linux in the Shell, episode 22. My name is Dan Washko. I will be your host today, and today we are going to talk about the sort command. And before we get into that, I want to thank Hacker Public Radio for hosting the website and the audio portion of the show. Uh, I suggest that you head on over to the website to get a full understanding of the sort command. This is merely some examples that I will be showing. So uh, read up the file on the website listen to the audio clips and just go wild and also while you're there uh, head on over to hackerpublicradio.org and check out the wonderful shows that are put out every day by members of the community and consider contributing to Hacker Public Radio by producing your own show and putting it up there on any topic your little geeky heart desires so let's get talking about the sort command it's, it's, it's a pretty basic command it does exactly what you think it does it sorts lines of, of text files or just lines of output. Uh, there's a whole lot to the sort command but we're only going to cover the basics uh, right now in this episode because uh, like I said there is a ton of stuff in here so let's let's get on to it. Alright I have a couple of files in here and I'm going to start off with a file called test. So if I do a cat of the test file you'll notice that it's like a grocery list right there. Uh, and it's not in any particular order, it's just a bunch of items thrown in there. So if I were to just run sort on that list, just like that, you'll notice that it puts them in an alphabetical order by case sensitivity. Uh, uppercase characters are first, followed by lowercase characters. So it, you have apple, beans, beer, and wine, all uppercase, start with the uppercase, then you have avocado, bread, chicken, and so on. Now, there's different options that you can throw in here to um, manipulate that. For one is case insensitivity, so that is sort-f, and you'll notice now it's a fully alphabetical list, ignoring case sensitivity, starting with avocado, and then capital A, apple, capital B, beans, capital B, beer, capital or lowercase bread, so it's ignoring case sensitivity right now. Um, I have another file in here called test2, which is essentially the same thing, but I've thrown in some other characters in there. Like, uh, there's a blank space here before milk, there's a number before olives, there's a uh, pound or an exclamation, not a pound, uh, an exclamation point before chicken, there's a number before uh, steak, four pounds of steak. So if I ran sort on that list, I get kind of different results. It, it takes... The, the sort order by default is blank lines or blank characters. Uh, then it's alpha, well, it's alpha, it, it, it's symbols and blank characters. So blank happens to be first, followed by symbols, then numbers, then alphabet. Uh, uppercase letter, lowercase letter. So even if I did a sort dash f ignore or case sensitivity, we're we're still pretty much going to have those uh, original four things first with the numbers and the letters. Now I can uh, I can ignore blank spaces by doing sort uh, b, and that puts milk down there where <coughs> it typically belongs. If I did a a uh, ignore case, it puts it down there after. Well, it didn't like that dash b dash f. I wonder if I can do a dash b dash f. Well, yeah, it actually it did. What am I thinking? It, duh, duh, I'm, not, I'm not paying attention. It did put it in the correct order. So uh, it, it put the m, it took m as for milk instead of the space before that. Uh, there's another thing I can do. It's called a dictionary sort. Sort dictionary test 2. And that operates essentially like almost the same way that regular sort does. Uh, did I get that right? Is it dictionary sort? Yep, dictionary order. Consider only blanks and alphanumeric characters. So it didn't consider the exclamation point in this instance right here. So that that's a difference. There's a um, sort dash f is remember uh, non case sensitive. Sort dash b does not take into consideration blank lines, sort dash D takes into consideration uh, only alphanumeric characters and not symbols. Uh, so blank line is included in our blank lines and alphanumeric characters. Uh, that's pretty much sort basic options in a nutshell for just general lists. Um, I have a list here 
of months, both fully spelled with capital and lowercase letters, and also abbreviated with the three character abbreviation. If I run sort on this list right now, you will see that August, February, July, March all happen first, not because they're in the correct order, but because they're in an alphabetical order with um, case sensitivity. Whereas if I use the dash M option with months, you'll now see that it is in a properly sorted list by month. February, March, April, July, August, December, regardless of case sensitivity or spelling, so sort has a month function to it. I'm going to get into some of the numeric options in short, insert, uh, blah, 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 sort. So let's look at my first file, numbers. I have uh, both negative and positive numbers delimited by symbols in some of them, the negative sign and the positive sign. So if I were to do a sort on this by itself, I would get a, t a standard sort that does symbols first, followed by numbers. So you see the numbers in there, 1, uh, 0, 15, 33, all happen after the positive or negative um, sorts. Uh, and that's chances are not what you want to have happen. Uh, so let's cat numbers again. Now there's a, a sort N, a standard numeric sort, right there. And you'll see this time, um, sort N, and if you read man sort, Sort n is just a comparing according to string numeric value. Well, in this case right here, you see that it's not taking into account the value of the symbols preceding the number. We can call those prefixing the number. You just have a standard number here. Now, it is in a a a kind of order where it's it's putting negative 33 lower than negative 15 in a numeric sort, but it's treating the the symbols as an, almost an equal value here, and then numbers afterwards. So you probably don't want to use that kind of sort on there. You want to use a generic number sort, <coughs> which also takes into account symbols, as well as the numbers that they're associated with. So now you see we have a properly sorted number list of negative 33, negative 15, negative 12 for the lower numbers. There's then 0, then positive, plus 11, plus 12, 15, and 33. Um, if I were to go back in here and edit this number list and throw in at the end 6 and do the sort by numbers again, you see that sort does show up in its proper location in the number, numbered orders. All right. I have another numbered list here, numbers two, and this has, in addition to uh, a, po a negative symbol in here, their, their values, they also have a suffix, one of the SI suffix, uh, a G for giga, M for mega, K for kilo. There's also um, tera, peta, exa, yada, zeta uh, values in there, and this, this, if we did a sort, numbers 2, they, they puts it into the sorting order that you would suspect. Whereas if we did a sort by numbers, by just a number sort, you get almost the exact same list right there. If you do a, oh, sorry, a generic number sort, uh, the list doesn't change. But if you pass a sort, a human numeric number sort, right there, the list changes dra uh, uh, dramatically in that you see now it's taking the value of the suffix as well as the number before it. So it recognizes that one of these values is negative, so that gets the lowest precedence. Then it recognizes that each one of these values here, 124, it, it, it recognizes their order, but it also recognizes the value of the suffix k mega and giga. Now, you might be saying, well, Dan, technically 1044 meg is greater than Oh, well, let me let me show you something here. I I, I made a mistake here. Oh. In my listing, I should have put the 
that there, and you say, Dan, technically, 1,044 meg is greater than 1 gig, because that would be 1,024 gig, or, depending on how you're doing it, 1,000 gig, uh, 1,000 1, 1, meg. Um, so it's technically be a little larger. Well, it doesn't, doesn't take that kind of evaluation into account. It merely does. Um, it looks at whether there's a symbol here, then a numeric value, and then the prefix. Suffix, sorry, suffix. Uh, and sorts it on suffix. So that's the way that that works. Just be aware of that little gotcha right there. And uh, take that into consideration. Pretty much the last sort. Uh, oh, no, two more sorts that I want to talk about. Um, one is a, well, if I did a sort generic on numbers 2 or numbers 1, I get that list. Sort H on numbers, I get a a similar list that I did for the G, not taking those symbols properly into account. So just be aware that generic sort is probably, if you need to get really fine detail with those type of symbols, generic sort. Otherwise, use number sort because it, it is a lot faster in most cases. Um, <clears throat> I can do a random sort. So let's cat our test list again and do a sort dash r test and you see that now it starts giving random sorts right there each time it's a little different uh, should hash it so that most of the time it will not be an equal you know you won't get the same results twice unless it's a very short list so uh, sort dash r and then also cat test sort test, sort r test, dash r is for reverse. So now we start, we have the list in reverse, just like that. Sort has a lot of ways of manipulating the uh, line of text there, uh, standard ways. The final thing I want to talk about is version. I have a, uh, a, a file here with versions, like say they were uh, source code versions. Um, sort has a version functioning sort on versions like that is not going to recognize the extra zero in here um, that could these could be uh, unle unless that's purposeful but you notice that it, it takes all these values as you would expect it to sort it properly numerically um, numerically 100 or 1.0013 comes before 1.012 but in the versioning world that might not be the case so if you provide uh, a version sort in this case it it looks at this and says well obviously in this world it looks at this whole prefix here and determines the numbering prefix and strips out any uh, extraneous zeros preceding these values and says okay um, 1.11 is probably newer than 1.01 013A, uh, so th that's the way that standard versioning happens, just like that. Uh, so that's a handy function for if you need to sort versions of files. That is just about a good third to, to a half of the functionality of the sort function, which uh, someday I may come back and cover some of the more um, peculiar features of the sort function, but these should probably get you by on just about anything you want to do with manipulating text. I used the sort function for a lot of stuff in the past, uh, manipulating uh, lists. You, one thing that you could do is cat, uh, cat Etsy password. Oh, no, wait, let's do cut D Etsy password. And I want to do fields. I think it was fields 2 and 5, and then do sort, and that gives you, oh, not 2 and 5, 1 and 5. That gives you a list of all, like, the users and their default group right there, uh, that they're in the default user group. So uh, then it sorts them by their name. Actually, it's not a default user group. It's... Uh, It's by their the real name. Where's the default? Oh, it's a default group 
would be four. Sorry, their group ID, default group ID. Anyway, there, there's one way of messing around with the sort command. Uh, there we go. Uh, my name's been Dan Washke. You've been watching Linux in the Shell for the sort command. This is episode 22, and I thank you, and we'll see you on the next show.